Well, brace yourself, Rishi. Let's begin. Now, obviously, we've had the local elections recently, and let's just say that the Conservatives haven't really done too well at all, have they? Nigel Farage, he has just come out with a very damning verdict for the Conservatives, and he said, according to this article anyway, that he made a bold prediction after Reforms UK defiant performance in the local elections this week. So what has he said then? Well, he reckons that Reform UK could take almost the whole Conservative vote at the next general election. And he goes on and says that he told GB News that he could not rule out an unprecedented swing from the Tories to a form and a complete collapse of the ruling party. Now, obviously, we are in a two-party system. Is these going to be Labour or Conservatives? And yes, occasionally we have other parties like from the Brexit Party. Now, obviously, Reform pop up every so often. And whilst they do make some things possible, like David Cameron agreeing to a 2015 referendum on the EU membership in the first place, because without Nigel, we wouldn't have Brexit. Unfortunately, they never get in power, do they? See, just out of the two. Although, a hundred years ago, it was between the Conservatives and the Liberals. Not Labour, but the Liberals. So they can and do change every so often, it seems. And this might be the time, potentially, when Conservatives are replaced themselves. Mr Farage then argued that reform was becoming the challenger to the Labour Party. And this echoes... Reform leader Richard Tice has claimed that his party is becoming the real opposition to Labour in the wake of the local election results. So just why is that then? Why should they all be so worried? Because let's face it, the Labour Party didn't exactly do too well in 2019, did they? But they are still about as the opposition. Well, according to Nigel, he reckons that when voters go to the polls this year, the argument that a vote for reform is a waste of vote has almost disappeared overnight in the Midlands, the North... And he says he thinks the South Wales is in that category. The Tories cannot win the election. The Tory press cannot squeeze that reform vote because they are going to lose anyway, he says. And I personally agree with him that whilst Rishi is their leader, the Conservatives' vote is just tanking at the moment, isn't it? I mean, the bloke was never voted in, was he? Except for anything other than 100 MPs. Not even the party members got a vote to install him. And he is, from what I've heard, a WF guy, which, let's face it, we don't really want as a Conservative leader, do we? Well, I don't anyway. And I personally think the way he got the job with what he did to Boris was just utterly disgraceful. So it's no wonder why the Conservatives are tanking them. And from what I've heard over recent times, quite a lot of MPs who want to Boris out, they wish and they didn't actually do that. Because let's face it, whether they like him or not, Boris is quite a good vote winner, isn't he, with the public? And therefore... Getting rid of him, in my opinion, was a very big mistake that the party did. In fact, that surely made it easier for Labour to win, which, let's face it, at the moment, they're kind of on track to do, aren't they? But he isn't finished there, because he also says that Reform will be the challenger to the Labour Party. Labour are a long way ahead at the moment, and Reform will need almost the whole Conservative vote with it to have a chance of winning those seats. And the way that politics is changing so quickly, I wouldn't rule it out. And let's just hope he's right, because I personally do not want a Keir Starmer government. Let's face it, he isn't exactly on the side of Brexit at all, is he? In fact, if anything, it does make me wonder what he thinks of the word democracy himself. If he's willing to want a second referendum against what the country decided, whether he likes it or not, we decided something and their job is to put it in place, whether they like it or not. And it seems to me that the Labour Party just want to peer over the whole thing and go crawling back to their EU masters, eh? Reform, though, apparently finished strong third place in the Blackpool South by-election with this candidate 117 votes shy of the Conservatives in second place. Just 117, which I'm guessing is quite high for a minority party and surely will be a clear shock to Rishi. And therefore, the Conservatives really do need to pull their socks up and get something sorted out. Hopefully give Rishi a verbal kick in the gonads and change things quickly. I myself can't ever see me voting Conservatives while Rishi is in charge. I'm guessing quite a lot of other people also feel the same. But what about Sir John Curtis, the polling expert? That, well, he says that reform's impact on, could be six times more devastating at a general election, which, if anything, surely is going to send a massive message to the Conservatives to, you know, actually be Conservative and lower the taxes at least, hopefully, with what Jeremy Hunt was saying quite recently, as they plan to lower taxes, hopefully that means that they'll finally increase our tax allowance and therefore completely get rid of the fiscal drag they were currently in. But anyway, Sir John apparently told the Telegraph, in the local elections, the Conservative vote fell the most heavily in the wards where Reform fielded the candidate. The only silver lining for Tory HQ was that Reform only contested one in six of the wards where there was an election on Thursday. A full slate would have been more devastating. 
And I don't know why they did that. Why it field a candidate in one and six? From what I heard, they were going to do one in every seat. And yes, I know that was at the general election, but you would have thought, wouldn't you, that they would have done it for the local elections as well. But Mr Tice, the reform leader, celebrated his party's success on Friday, telling the BBC, we are fast becoming the real opposition in the Red Wall seats in the north of England, and indeed, I think, in the Midlands, to the Labour Party. We're on the way up. It's quite clear that the Tories are on the way down. And he hailed the party for winning 17% of votes across the country, a number he expects to rise. And I personally agree that number is going to rise by at least one vote, because I will be voting for reform. And hopefully, hopefully, that will send a message to the Conservatives. Now, it does make me wonder if after the 2024 general election, when Rishi apparently more than likely will lose, in my opinion, if Boris will actually decide, you know, I'm going to put myself forward as an MP in this election, so if Rishi does lose, I could, you know, throw my hat into the ring for a leadership contest at some time in the future. Maybe not the next leadership contest, the one after that maybe, when, let's face it, Partygate is a very distant memory. (laughs) 